what's going on guys it's michael with michael stock updates um uh, like i said in the pre previous video um i got a lot of hobbies i love the stock market love football i'm a huge kansas city chiefs fan which is coincidental because the kansas city chiefs play tonight they play at the san diego chargers um actually for the division lead uh in the afc west so huge game so you no know, it's a little different it's not stocks but you know the market's red so maybe we can make some money gambling on sports here even though i live in south carolina and can't do it so i'm just talking strictly for entertainment purposes only just my advice here based on what i know i'm a big huge football fan been watching football since oh lord i was 12 years old and now 43 uh became a chiefs fan because when i became a uh, football fan. I love Joe Montana, but I didn't really know the situation. I know I came in with Joe Montana in about 1989, 1990 after the injury, after he'd won the four Super Bowls, but uh, that was the guy who caught my attention as a kid. Loved Joe Montana. Didn't really know anything about the San Francisco or the teams. I just, I was a young kid and I just knew Joe Montana. So when Joe Montana was traded to the Kansas City Chiefs, that's kind of when I got into football and really started learning the rules and all that, and uh, that was about, I think that was 1993, so I was 13 years old by the time I really understood the rules, fell in love with Joe Montana, became a Kansas City Chiefs fan because of that, and the rest is history, so I have went through a long, long, long journey um, with the Kansas City Chiefs with no playoff wins in 25 years and all that, but then uh, we got drafted what I feel is Mr. Magic, Patrick Mahomes, and uh, you know, it's, uh, everything's turned around in the back-to-back Super Bowls. I uh, won some money on the first Super Bowl and then lost some money on the second Super Bowl. Tom Brady got me. But, and be honest with you, this is 100% um, unbiased. It's just truly what I feel. You know, there's been a couple games where I didn't think the Kansas City Chiefs were going to win. And, uh, like the Buffalo game, I thought we'd struggle with Tennessee. And I was right on both of those. So, uh, I, I, I don't ever put money down against Kansas City. But, I would if um, the right opportunity came around. I just don't want to put money down and root for the Chiefs, root against the Chiefs. But so, just an unbiased opinion on the Chiefs at Chargers. The Chiefs are three point favorites at the San Diego Chargers. Uh, Chiefs are nine and four. Uh, Chargers are eight and five. If Chargers beat the Chiefs, they take the divi they take the division lead. And if the Chiefs beat the Chargers till Sunday, we would have the number the best record in the NFL, first uh, AFC team with ten wins. So I am am pumped. I want to can't wait for this game Thursday night football. Uh, my personal pick is this. You know, first off, the Chargers are missing their left tackle. They're having trouble stopping the uh, rush uh, pass attack. I'm sorry, getting pressure. They're letting a lot of pressure come to Herbert. So Herbert's been sacked the last few times, and he's also throwing the ball, throwing about six interceptions uh, in the last few games. So, and then, then on top of that, they're missing their starting left tackle, that rookie, uh, very, very, very good left tackle, and uh, that's going to hurt him, I think. Also, Keenan Allen just coming back from COVID, which is no big deal. I'm sure he's going to show up along with Austin Eckler. But with Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, I just believe you have too much offense on that side. Uh, and the Chiefs defense, goodness gracious, I think top three the last uh, two, three games, and, you know, definitely top ten the last – at least six games, seven games. The defense has really been winning this ball games this year, which is crazy. But uh, I just feel with the improvement on the defense, and then she, and then the Chargers missing their left tackle, and also the Chargers got to win early on this uh, in September in Kansas City. I uh, don't think the Chiefs have forgot about that. This is going to be a revenge win for the Chiefs. Also, Chiefs started out rough. They came all the way back. Now won six in a row. They're red hot. They're want to close this division out still uh playing for the one seed so i say my line is chiefs minus three uh the over under i think there's going to be a lot of points here but i think it's going to be under 52 is my personal opinion i think uh both teams are going to try to control the game by running i think you are going to see some scoring and spurts but i take chiefs minus three and under 52 that's my pick let's go chiefs Thanks, guys. You can like and subscribe if you like this NFL update. This is not stocks, but still, maybe a way to make money for some. No entertainment purposes. Don't listen to me for anything like that. I just think, truly, unbiased Chiefs are going to take care of the Chargers. Minus three at San Diego. Let's go Chiefs. Take care, guys. Thanks.